Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Phoebe and from the Paper Letter Blog and today I'm going to show you a bunch of Happy Meal ideas you can create for your pen pal. Now, I don't know if I can show you all of these because I've literally um, collected quite a few. These are either things I have received as well as many, many things I have made. And the goal for this video is to show you a bunch of things you can create for your pen pals. This is not a tutorial. This is just uh, little project shares. But I'm going to take you through all of these ideas, things you might not have a thought of before, as well as things you may have forgotten about. Um, like I said, this is not a tutorial, but I, if I have a tutorial or if I know a tutorial, I will, of course, link it down below. Now, let's get straight into it. The first idea is <laughs> um, one that you very well may know if you've been following my channel for a little bit longer, and that is the accordion folder. Now, this is, these are two that I have received and not made myself because I have already sent all of my Happy Meal folders out. But as you can see, these are handy little folders that you can use uh, to stuff full of goodies for your pen pal. Uh, you could fill all of these pockets up with a little presents and the best part is that you can use um, you can use magazine paper or you can use vintage book pages and it looks really really cute. You can make them as big or as small as you want. Tutorial linked down below. That is to date one of my most popular tutorials on my channel. And now idea number two is one you may have also uh, made before but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven to eight different examples of this particular one and that is a flip book. A flip book is basically a um, collective name for a book that you can flip through um, but there are so many ideas you can do. I have this one which is not finished yet, I just finished the front but you could do smaller pages, you could do a pocket in there, you could do bigger pages this is idea number one, but you could also do a little card that you flip open. This one is finished, it just needs a recipient. Um, flip open and then you can do a little tip in, so you add an extra page to the other side. So basically what I'm trying to say is uh, flip books are very versatile. In the beginning I would only make simple book page flip books. But once you start thinking about all of the ways you can go, there are dozens of possibilities. I would say endless. Um, this is one that I have received. Uh, it's empty now, but I like it because it shows you just how much is possible. Is that um, once you stop thinking... Which way? Once you stop thinking about uh, the simple things, you can see that flip books can literally go any way. Mm -hmm. That is what I'm trying to tell you. I have more examples. I have this one, which is an octagon shaped flip book. I also received this in a mail, but I've made one myself. It's very different from this one, but um, it has the same shape. Uh, I will link that down below as well. So again, it doesn't flip like a normal book. It flips down and it flips up and it's absolutely incredible. This, uh, I'm also gonna call this a flip book. This is another one that I have received a few weeks ago. This one flips up and it flips down. And then there's also an extra page in the middle. And it has a pocket and it has goodies and all that. But the next thing I'm gonna tell you is that for flip books, um, you can use more than just glue to hold together the pages. These are some examples I'm either working on or have finished. Uh, this is a flip book I made using little brads or split pins. And this is a pocket, it opens at the top. And this is a little meal tag. So split pins is one idea. The next idea is use uh, twine. This one is still under construction, so it's not done, but use twine to hold your book together. This is an idea I got from someone else. I actually have the example right here. <laughs> this is the example, use twine. 
and these are pockets that open to the side. I'm doing a video tutorial on this as well and another pocket so three pockets and then the outside pages held together with twine. Next idea is use um, binder rings. These are binder rings. I could make a flip book that opens like that, but I've actually made it flip up. So binder rings, and then the pages get larger as we go. I also have a little tip in here, and a little envelope at the last page. So binder rings. So once you let go of um, the idea of a flip book having to be a certain way, uh, you can go any direction with this. So that is why I like to include it in there as well. And next thing you can make for your pen pal is simple, it's embellishments, little embellishments. So these are some I've made in a live stream. These are all Project Life cards that I have decorated. Your pen pal could use these to decorate a journal or a happy mail. And then this is a decorated um, mixed media tag I did. So this is mixed media paper. I use a whole lot of different mediums on there. I stamped, I used distress oxides, I used um, stencil paste, I used Nouveau drops, I used, uh, what is this called again? Embossing powder, a die cut. And then you get that. So something handmade, also very fun for pen pals. Uh, next up is another um, project I am still working on, and that is a loaded pocket. Uh, I have multiple examples of this as well, I'll show you in a second. This is one I've made myself, it has a pocket here at the front, and then here at the back. And I simply made this by um, folding a 6x8 paper up, so as you can see this is one paper, the polka dot one is one paper. I flipped piece of a page up and then I added an extra strip of paper and I stitched all around that but this is going to be a video tutorial as well but there are more loaded pockets you can do um, these are some simple ones this is one I've made um, this is a gift bag obviously this is the gift bag and then I made two extra pockets on top of the flip bag so flip and then I made two extra pockets on top of the goodie bag. So this is one pocket that holds goodies. And then this is a small pocket that might hold my letter or something else, as you can see. This is a small pocket. So a loaded pocket. Another fun way, a flat way, to send some gifts to your pen pals. This is what I have received from my pen pal, Elia. Um, she used a gift bag, as you can see, and she folded the bottom half up and then she cut open the bottom. So this is one gift bag folded in half. Um, she included a bunch of gifts for me in the top half. And then there's also a bunch of gifts for me in the bottom half. And again, she also made me some embellishments, a little embellished tag, a little popsicle embellishment, um, a little embellished envelope, also a lot of fun, and of course a lot of gifts as well. But <clears throat> I have more examples. This is just a simple one. Again, big pocket at the back. One, two small pockets in the front. And you don't have to add extra pockets. This is one I received from my pen pal Emilia. Uh, she simply decorated a, a gift bag, which I also think is very cute. It's a fun way to send your pen pal some gifts but it doesn't have to be a very heavy or very expensive to send. Um, another thing you could do is a tag flip. I don't know where all of the tags went. This would be a tag flip. So I would hold these together with, once again, you could use the same as these. You could use binder rings, you could use a split pen, you could use um, an, another ring or some twine. And you're going to hold this together like that. And then your pen pal can flip through your um, decorated tags so this would all be decorated tags i don't have an example now but i do have this one that is very similar this is once again an incredible meal from my pen pal oh yeah um she did not use tags she used flags but it's basically the same idea you decorate tags and then you can um, your pen pal can flip through them and as you can see she also included gifts that i can take out a little gift for me a little gift flag 
Uh, little gift envelope. This was filled with, I think her letter was in there. She put gifts in here. And um, one thing I want to clarify is that it's called a tag flip or a flag flip in this case, but you can use any shape you like. Um, you could use Project Life cards, you could use envelopes for this, you could use tags, gift bags, you could use circles. I think I have an example with a circle somewhere. Long story short, make a tag flip with any shape any size you like and you can add tons of fun goodies now normally you would use a binder ring to hold that together you can buy these in uh, many different craft stores or even in uh like home appliance stores a couple more ideas uh talking about tags you could also make something like this which is an embellished little tag um this has multiple layers which I think is a very, very fun idea. This is one pocket all the way at the back. And then there are two, <laughs> how do I show you this? Two more little pockets in the front. So this is a pocket, this is a pocket, and this is a pocket. I like doing these as well because they are super flat and a fun way to include goodies. More importantly, you could also, instead of using a tag, what I've done in the past is I've decorated the back of a postcard. So instead of writing on a postcard, you could put multiple layered pockets. I have a tutorial on that, I will link it down below. Super flat and super affordable to send as well. Then I already talked about Project Life cards. Um, Project Life basically uh, has <laughs> these little cards that you could use for journaling. Um, I don't do that much journaling, but I do have a lot of Project Life cards. So I thought it would also be fun to um, use a bunch of Project Life cards for Happy Mail. This is a big card. I think this is six by eight. No. I think this is, is it four by six? I think this might be four by six and then this is a small one which would be three by four. This is a very simple idea for a Happy Meal. I've done this once before. It's again, very flat to send, um, but you can still show your pen pal that you care because you decorated it <laughs> yourself. Um, so it's one large Project Life card, one small one. Used a little washi tape to keep that together. And then I have a pocket here in the back that I could stuff with either goodies or the letters and then here on the actual flap I wrote my mail tag what is your spirit animal your favorite outfit what do you look forward to and something you are proud of but you could do anything you could write a quote in here or you could add a little extra gift bag or a collage basically anything and anything anything and everything I was supposed to say then the last idea for today is use or make little um, pocket letters. I lost the word there for a second. Now, in case you're wondering where you can buy these little pockets, look for baseball or card holder sleeves. These are not especially, these are not sleeves made specifically for Happy Meal. These are made for baseball cards or for Pokemon cards or for, any type of card collecting so that is how i found them i looked on a, a game a website <laughs> and it had oh i'm seeing that my some of my sequin mix is going out okay i'm gonna have to close this up but i uh, found these uh, by looking for baseball card holders or actually mine were i think classified as pokemon card holders but normally these uh, sleeves have nine pockets i will grab one for you very quickly yeah this is actually one i made myself with my fuse tool but this is the basic idea normally these have nine pockets so that it's a four sized what i always like to do is i like to cut them in three so they're a little bit less intimidating <laughs> to work with um now these are obviously nine individual little pockets uh, and what people usually do in happy meal is they will uh, decorate the front 
and then put goodies on the back. This one is not finished, but this one, as you can see, has presents and is ready to go out. So you could use, you could do six pockets, you could do three pockets, like I did, or you could do nine pockets, which is the full, um, the full sleeve. Uh, instead of putting goodies in the back, you could of course also put your letter or tea bags, or you could just leave it blank, whichever you prefer. As you can see, I have um, put a back side just because I think that looks nicer, but you don't have to do that as well. You can just, just do whatever you please. So this is my whole list of Happy Mail ideas. Naturally, this is not the only things you can do. I already know more ideas I could do for a next video, um, but I just thought I would show you some in this video, I hope. I hope, hope, hope this gave you some inspiration. This helped you along to create more Happy Mail. Of course, if you want to do another one of, if you want me to do another one of these, give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to help me, um, leave your Happy Mail ideas in a comment down below because obviously there are a ton more ideas that I've left out. <laughs> But um, I had to start somewhere. So that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to use the hashtag the paper letter blog on Instagram if you end up making one of these um, tutorials link down below. Patreon account link down below if you want to support me there. And I will see you again very soon. Okay. <laughs> um, now I've, I've like kept all of these in a box for super long, except for the ones I'm still working on. I've kept all of these in a box for super long because I've been wanting to do this video for so long, but now they can finally go out to their new owners. <laughs> um, just have to write the letters. Okay, that's it. Goodbye.